Hey, what do you guys think about the light in here? That light there, I'm gonna end up moving back a little bit for when we're working on stuff, but man, it's it's nice being able to have light. It's a little nippy out here. Almost thinking about taking that new heater that I bought and putting it out here and seeing if it'll heat up this garage. I picked this transmission up uh, to well today. This video is not gonna be out till later. But pick this transmission up today at the junkyard. And I'm liking what I see so far. In the in the junkyard run video when we picked this up, took this top cover out and took a look what was inside and it looks like it was rebuilt. Nothing stripped out, there wasn't really a lot of trash, like anything out of the ordinary. Uh, shifts, pretty good. As far as, um, you know, just the baseline test, we'll see how it acts when, we, when it drives, but click, get first, second, third, fourth, fifth, real easy, everything, you know, everything is smooth and it's nice. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother cleaning up, I'm probably just gonna throw it in as is. So what I want to look at is, wow, shifter bushings, completely gone. <clears throat> what I want to know is, do I need to order a new stub? And it looks like I don't. This looks pretty good. However, it is completely missing the shifter bushings. I'm just checking for wear in these grooves. And then also wear there. And I'm not seeing anything that's really making me want to replace it with a new one. So all I need is just a, a top shifter seal kit. So we're good there. Weird how, you know, Johnson's Garage here having a bench, right? Come on. So now when I looked at this in the yard, it looked really, really good. I'll give you a close-up shot here in just a second while I get a look at myself. Yeah, I don't see anything down at the bottom that's scary. Anything, just a little bit of sludge from use. And it's not even like that much. It's like you could clean it up quickly with a toothpick or a uh, Q-tip. Yeah, even the gear back there. I see a chip missing from a, t uh, or part of a tooth missing back there. It's like, it just looks hardly used. It's barely been used. I, I would, I would feel like I'm wasting money if I, uh, I rebuilt it. I'm just looking at the dogs of the uh, synchros there just to make sure that they're not worn down. Nothing is out of the ordinary. It looks really good. Let me see if I can get you in there. Shoot you right there. You see that? That's the only thing I'm seeing. On that year anyways broken in very nicely. I'm not going to bother rebuilding this. The bearings look good. Everything seems to be pretty tight. There's hardly anywhere on these shifters. This is our reverse and fifth. So that should have gone. So let's see, we're up. That should have gone in reverse.
Yeah, that's in reverse. Still sharp. Okay, that should be fifth, because then we're over and up should kick that back. And I'm checking this gear to make sure nothing else is missing. That one little bit that's kind of katinked off is probably going to be okay. We'll get a better look at it when we pull this extension housing off. So that's where the chip is. And it doesn't seem to be doing anything to the gear itself. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything that's alarming me. Um, if anything, I'm just going to put new seals in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set it back down, and then we're going to take the front, uh, we'll just call it the front pump. We're going to go ahead and take that, uh, the front cover, there you go, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and get that off of there. Now there could be some secret fluid in here, so get your get your towel ready. Got it. There's our seal. Okay, yeah, this is, get some of this RTV out of here. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> this is everything in here. Hey, yeah, that paddle looks fairly new. Brand new, those Koyo bearings. Yeah, Koyo. Looks good, it's not blue. Hmm. And our, that passageway right there. You can't even see it. Right, right here. See where it looks like it has a metal sleeve going into it? Which it does, because it's this tube here. If that's plugged, you'll lose oil flow to that bearing there. And then back in behind this gear here, or actually inside that gear, is a pocket bearing. And what happens is, when you lose oil flow there, and this is why you don't use gear oil, if those bearings lose that lubrication, um, you're done. That's it. This is, it's kaput. You know, once it goes, it goes. You know, probably end up spinning a bearing. You, know, you spin a bearing, you trash the housing, so then you can't fix this one. You gotta get a new one. Where'd my razor blade go? Did I do with that razor blade? I set it over here because I was fiddle farting with it, and then I'm like, yeah, you know what, I'll do this later. Can't find it. It disappeared. It's gone. Don't know what happened. You see this bottle of engine assembly lube? This is the worst bottle ever. This just falls on, and you look at it, it falls off the shelf, and it falls in a spot where you don't know about it until you go to get what you need out of that area, 
and it's just covered in assembly lube and it's just disgusting. I don't want to put this in yet because I'm going to get a seal kit and we're going to replace all of these pieces here. And that shim. These shims are important that they're clean too because if there's any dirt in there it will affect the tolerances of uh, the gear train in there. So I think that's going to be a wrap for this video. I don't all I can say is we'll put uh we'll put a seal kit in, fix the shifter, just spend our money on other other stuff to get it put in the explorer. All right guys. Check out the links in the description down below. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.